you. Well, the Gold Coast family has been left terrified after masked teens carrying knives, here they are, raided their Gold Coast home, stealing two cars and then bragging about their crimes on social media. Victims Mina and Marcelo join us now live from the Gold Coast. Mina, we want to come to you first because this is a terrifying incident that we're seeing happen way too often on the Gold Coast. What passed in your situation? Yeah, so um, I was in shock and disbelief when it ha happened, considering that it was broad daylight. Uh, my children had woken up to the sound. We all woke up watching um, the footage of these um, youths, a gang of, of people entering our home while we were fast asleep with weapons in their hands, holding knives. Mm stealing and damaging our home is is uh, i honestly i've got no words to yeah. describe the feeling um it's it's very traumatic very this, very traumatic this is your own home Marcelo, uh, and and you didn't know you were asleep um these people come in with knives invade your privacy mm. how did you feel about it many it's terrifying right we see all the time this in the news we never think it's going to happen to us but it's, it's getting closer and closer to everybody, right? And what we hear from, from the cops, from everybody we talk, is that these guys, they just don't care. They will just keep doing it. They look at the cameras, they challenge the cameras because they know nothing's gonna happen to them. The contractors here last night saw them driving like a 200 per hour on the motorway. They know they'll be caught. They will go somewhere and same day they are released. The cops told us that. Mm. And what's the deterrence? What's the court system doing about it? We came from very violent countries. I came from Rio de Janeiro. Mina came from Brazil, from Iraq. And to, to have safety here. Mm. And this is not safe. We are now terrified. It's not about even this happening uh, once uh, or, or the fact itself, but it's everybody scared as a society mm. that this can happen anytime and it's going to keep escalating like we have now the case of the of the murder with a knife with other things. It's just going one step ahead every single time and when is it going to stop? What are, are these kids? People say children, kids. Are, are these kids? Really? That's how we should treat them? With big knives, blinging their knives on the camera? Are, are these kids? This, they are not kids. They know what they are doing. And why we need to suffer? Sounds, sounds basic and I, I, I don't know why it doesn't change. Agree. And we can hear the frustration, the anger in your, in your voice there because so many people are perplexed by this situation at the moment. We know that the police are overwhelmed with this. I mean, and you guys have a couple of kids at home, a six and two year old. <laughs> It could have been so much worse. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. For the police, I mean, they've been very cooperative with us. It's what it, it sounds to us like it's Groundhog Day for them. Yeah. You know, it's just another house, same kids, kids in and out. And it's just they're getting more and more confident with their approaches. And it's very frightening. Um, not being, I, I couldn't sleep last night, you know, yeah. just watching the CCTV constantly on my phone. It, that's, that's not a way of living. We now, we now think about which investments we need to do to feel safe and mm. uh, is it something that we really, really need to care individually or that we need to care as a society? Yeah. Like that we need to change something for it to, to be different because it's just happening over and over, over mm. time. Yeah. It's growing. It's not something that's reducing, even the laws that were changed, Changed last year, mm. they're not enough. They don't deter them. Well, they, you, you they, make they the, don't care. You make they, the you make the great point. How, how much is individual, and how much of us as a society mm. are we prepared to accept here? And what are we going to do exactly. about it as a society? Mm -hmm. um, you have to move forward now somehow. Um, you've got to do with the repair damage, um, mm. but you've got to mainly live with that yeah. stress. These thieves filmed the incident, flaunted it all over Instagram. The companies also need to play a role here. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really terrifying. It's, it's, it's terrible. We have probably around $100,000 in, in damages here Jeez. that they just did in, in 10 minutes mm. plus, like mm -hmm. taking the cars like over the day. Uh, for really? Fun. For fun? For, for yeah. thrill, thrill for ride. Thrill. Yeah. The police so, say 90% they, they knows who they are. They are not really new people. They said, oh yeah, we caught them the other day and 
there they are. They are doing it again mm -hmm. because the law doesn't protect us. The law is not protecting us. The police, the police is very frustrated. They said we know who they are. We caught them already. Yeah. Mm. And then, <laughs> and this is and what happens. It, that's yeah. it. And we know we don't know. Like by doing, by talking to you guys, we, there will be hate crime, retaliation. But we, we thought it was Good the right idea. thing to do. And I think it everybody is, yeah. should be doing that. We should be getting together as a society to, to put the word out and and yeah. for our lawmakers to understand that things must change. Well, you two are doing the right mm. thing because people need to stand up. Yeah. Um, and if you don't do that, then what will happen? Mm. We appreciate you being on today. Uh, more needs to be done. We keep saying it every day. Yeah, absolutely. Had enough. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?